Hey guys, welcome to Mod My Desktop second tutorial. We'll be going over rain meter today. So, if you've ever seen those really cool desktops that people have, or there's tons of features on their desktops and little panels everywhere that can help them with navigation, uh, system settings, and things like that, this is one way to do it. The first thing we're going to do is have to download rain meter. So, if you want to, you can find it in the tutorial section on modmydesktop.com in the rain meter in-depth guide part one. I'll also include the link in the description of the video. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded rain meter. Once you get it you can just double click on the install file, click on run. I recommend that you use a standard installation and it only takes uh, two seconds to install if that. And then you can click on run rain meter and click finish. And this is how it should look for the very first time. You know, there's a couple of panels, there's a uh, welcome panel, but it's really pretty basic. The first thing I want to show you is how to disable a skin or just um, get rid of it totally. And to do that, you can just right click on any of the little panels. Each of the panels is called a skin. And you can click unload skin. It'll go away. And almost every panel that you have in your theme is draggable. You can move it around to anywhere you want on your screen. And a lot of the time they will lock into place automatically, which you can change. What I want to do is get a new theme because this one's a little bit simple. And to do that, I'm going to head over to Mod My Desktop's favorite skins tutorial. And one of my personal favorites is Enigma. That's the one that I use right now. So I went ahead and downloaded that. And just to show you how different themes can interact with each other, I've downloaded Circulo also. Now with these big theme packs, if you download two of them, uh, one will overwrite the other, so be aware of that. But they will come in .rm skin files and they'll have a little rain meter icon on them. You can just double click them. You'll have a little checklist to go through and you can click install. And this is what Enigma looks like when you very first install it. Yeah, you know, it's it's nice. It's going somewhere. Um, you can definitely use some features in this for sure. Uh, this little panel that comes up is the any settings file and you can go through each of these tabs and set up how you want rain meter to work for you you can set up your RSS feeds you can set up your Gmail account you can set up different applications to use on the application launcher and the second thing that I'm going to do is install the Circulo rain meter skin so I'm gonna extract that to my desktop and just double click it and click install and this will load up. It's a little bit big and bulky for now. It doesn't really match any of my theme. So I'll show you how to disable the theme again, or the skin again. You can right click on the skin and go to unload skin. And then, you know, there's only news, notes, a little clock, some miniature system settings. Maybe we want a little bit more. So for that, let's say we want a more in-depth system settings view. You can right click on here, go to variants, and click on system graph. If you choose variants, they're not always available, but they're, they're just different looks for uh, different settings. So for example, this is a m more of a minimalistic system graph that's shown right now, but I want a more in-depth one. And we can always add skins by right-clicking, going to Enigma, or this is the one that's default loaded right now, but you can go to Rain Meter, Skins, and then choose from different um, things that you have installed. So for example, if I want the Circulometer back, you can go to Circulometer and click Meter.ini and you'll have that back. But for now, I'm just going to 
go to back to the manager you can right click and go to manage skin and I want to show you first of all what my actual Enigma looks like it's relatively close to the default I actually like how Enigma looks but one thing that I do want to show you is how to save your rain meter skins you can just right click anywhere on your skin click manage skin go to layouts tab and you can just type in a name you know enigma variant and click save and it'll come up in this little list that you have and you can load it you can load different ones if you you know want changes you, I'll load this Omnimo well you can't really see it but you get the picture and usually the like I said the panels are draggable you can just drag them around but if you don't want them to be draggable you can right click go to settings and then you can uncheck or check different things that you want to happen so when I uncheck draggable I can no longer drag this around and that pretty much concludes this tutorial uh, I'll go more in depth with uh, different skins how to edit the skins for different sizes so you can have them match up a little bit and more in the future of course so uh, if you aren't aware you can visit us at www.modmydesktop.com thanks for watching